Okay, so uh, I want to show you guys some stuff that you can do with Flex that's really sexy and cool. So the first thing is Tour to Flex. Uh, it's a Flex app, of course, running in air on the desktop. And it's actually on those DVDs that were in those books that you gave me, so you guys can install this and, and check it out. But it allows you to see, all right, what are some of the cool components that we have in Flex, you know, buttons, that's not very cool. Uh, but you know, you can see how to access data. Uh, you can see some of the cloud APIs. So this one's kind of cool. Twitter, you know, I can go log into Twitter. This is using a Flex API to, if I can remember my password, uh, to log into Twitter and go fetch some of the latest tweets of my friends. And you can just copy and paste this code into, uh, into a Flex project and then be up and running connecting to Twitter in your Flex app. So a lot of cool stuff in Tour to Flex to explore on, on cool things that you can do. My personal favorite is this one. So this one is uh, the physics form. And you know, we talked about design with Joe. Where's Joe? Joe, where'd you go? Joe, we talked about design. I personally feel this is one of my favorite designed uh, little pieces of an application here. So we want to give the user some feedback if they type in their password wrong. And this is where uh, the, the physics form comes in handy. So if I type in my username and password wrong and I hit log in, we give the user some feedback, but then we really <laughs> <get some feedback. laughs> So definitely, I want to see that in all of your apps. <laughs> all right, so that's cool. All right, so I want to show you a couple other cool things you can do with Flex. So this one is using the new 3D APIs in, in Flash 10. So we have this little cloth, we can drag it around and fling it all around, and that's cool. That's just using an image as like the cloth image. Uh, but we can also put video on that cloth. Oh, I've got to turn on my volume because there's actually something playing. So we can actually like drag this cloth around while it's playing the video. And, um, so that's kind of fun. You know, we can play with it and spin it around. Anyways, that's cool. Okay, so that's a cool thing you can do. Uh, the Anthropology desktop application. So this is an application prototype created for Anthropology to show what could shopping be like for Anthropology. This is the application that I was so frightened about Anthropology releasing because I knew that my wife would go spend like millions of dollars uh, buying stuff via this application. So I'm so glad that, they, that this is just a prototype and they didn't actually release it. So this allows you to, to navigate through their, their catalog. We can you know, flip through and find you know, some cool hat that we want. But some cool things that you can do in this is let's say we want to search by color. So, you know, I know my wife just loves purple. Let's go find all the stuff that's purple, but not quite that purple. Let's go a little more blue uh, so we can kind of tweak the color a little bit. But, you know, let's say that I also want to uh, do something cool here. I have a picture of my wife and I in Hawaii, and I know that she loves this, this, uh, this shirt of mine. So I'm going to actually go take this Hawaii picture, drag it into the anthropology app. There's a little bug there. Uh, but I know she loves this terribly ugly shirt of mine. So I'm going to actually go pick that color on my shirt. And it's actually going to find things that, that will match that ugly shirt of mine. So very dangerous application. Husband, watch out. If anthropology releases this, you're in trouble. OK. So that's some cool stuff. Uh, I want to show you a couple other really cool things. So the first one. Um, is actually I need a prop for this. So I have this 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 thing I printed out, some strange logo, and uh, I can actually now go to this application and hold this thing up, and it's actually now going to detect. Oh, lights on. Sorry, it's oh, that, that's a little good. bit too dark maybe for it. There we go. So it's actually detecting now. You'll see that the image that I'm pulling up on the paper is actually different from uh, the one that's on my screen because it's actually, it's actually detecting the one uh, on the paper and putting something different on, on the screen. So I can like rotate it around and do cool stuff. But okay, that's, that's not too fun. So let's go to another one where I actually put this strange logo on my forehead. This is definitely very useful in real life. And it's actually now gonna, gonna actually detect that. And as I rotate my head around, it's now actually moving, should be moving the, the actual flex application, the perspective around as I rotate my head. So yeah, that's cool. But you know, I thought that's not very useful. You know, we need to we need to do this kind of thing in business applications. So I took I took the component that we used here uh, in this application. I said, all right, I want to be able to you know do something in a business application. So I created an application here using that component that actually has a data grid. It's going to go fetch a bunch of rows from my database on my server. And so here we've got a data grid. But I want to be able to actually scroll down in my data grid by by pointing my head down at the ground. So it's actually now scrolling down my head. Or up if I look up, it should scroll up. I have to like get it quite right. It might not be. There we go. Okay, we're scrolling in some direction. So all around. There we go. And I was going to show you mind control.
roll with flex, but sorry we ran out of time. <laughs>